super lucky. I definitely have a great group of card collecting friends and uh, I love any mail day, but sometimes, you know, I got a handful of guys that will send me just a stack of base cards of stuff with issues on them and just, you know, stuff to work on, stuff that people collect that they'd like to see some attempts on. And, you know, I've got to give a shout out to my buddy, uh, Wu, for sending these over. And Wu knows I'm a Detroit guy. And uh, I get a lot of acetate questions, you know, can you clean up an acetate card? What can you do to them? Now, scratches on acetate cards are probably going to be a permanent issue because it's straight up plastic and they're hard to, you know, they're not very forgiving. But something that you guys might see on, especially as acetates get older and they've been in plastic, you get these age spots of like where it just stuck to the surface for a long time. And you might have given up on trying to get these off because a microfiber will not do anything. But I got a cure for you. So if you run into anything like that, you guys, you can usually just get it off quickly with a quick polish. So let's, let's do it. Thanks for watching. I am Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. And we're just gonna, when a microfiber won't cut it, just step it up a little bit. You guys pick up your can of polish and just do probably an application. One application should do it. I love cards from the 90s, and this is like 99, I think, 99, 2000. And it's just been in probably a top loader long enough where it picked up all those weird spots, you know, and it's almost like the old plastic like melts to it or something. So we'll keep this simple. We're just gonna use the card polish and hopefully it will release these. Usually it does, so let's, uh. Keep our fingers crossed. And it'll do a really good job of just making an acetate card look good. There's definitely some stainage over here. Yeah, we gotta combo it. We gotta use some spray. Whatever this is. That's uh, being grumpy, so let's clean it off. I usually use cotton, but I'm gonna use a microfiber. Just because I didn't expect it, it threw me a curveball. Let's see if we can get it off. Good. Let's see, did that work? It's a good looking card, but the closer you get, you see all the junk on it. All right, so if you get crap like that, spray's good on it too. All right, so we got most of Herm cleaned up. Let's get that plate, let's get that going. It's funny how a card can look good from far, but sometimes it's far from good, you know what I mean? So I think to you guys too, getting um, a nice lighting setup, and by a nice lighting setup, I just mean lights that are intentionally directed at your cards. Um, my lights are like 20 bucks a piece, so it's nothing, nothing fancy or extravagant, but it just does a lot of help when finding little things like this. And especially if you like to grade your cards, nothing worse than like sending a card that looks good from far, but it's far from good. And then you get it back after anticipation and excitement and the things, you know, 
not scoring where you want it. I got some streaks there. I gotta get those off. I think we're making a comeback though. Like when I started this video, I figured I'd be done in 30 seconds. So it's a good reminder that even though this is a rather quick, a rather quick demonstration, just be prepared to do a couple things because that's typically how it works. <clears throat> I don't know how many of you watching like would connect with Herman Moore or you don't remember Herman Moore, but I'm from Detroit and, um, you know, growing up, this was, this was my guy, man. He was a, he was a great receiver. Lions were never a great team, but it was so cool to be able to watch like guys like Herm and Barry Sanders and Chris Spielman and I don't know, the rotating slot of quarterbacks we had in Detroit, but it's what I had. Looking good. So that, if you guys are seeing this and going, hey, I think there's a streak, it's like the paint. See how it is? So I was starting to see it at the bottom too, and I'm like, what is that? I'm just trying to use my light here to see if there's anything we left. I hate those little spots. I still feel like there's some scuffing or something on this side of the card, so bear with me. I might be just uh, seeing the reflection of that kind of smoky color in the background, but at that angle, it just looked a little bit more to me. Or it could be some of that stuff. I don't even know what the... It looked just like a simple fingerprint, but I couldn't even get it off the polish, so let's, let's do a little bit more card spray. Well, as in typical card fashion, it always kind of turns into a little bit bigger of a project. So let's take a look. Okay, it was on this side. I wasn't losing my mind, it just wasn't, I didn't do a good job. So, I'm happy now. The little age spots are all gone. So if you run into those guys, a little combo of card spray, and a little combo of uh, card spray and polish how to do it. It's even though we're cleaning this card with, you know, right now, right in front of you, this thing has some, it did not look this dirty to me, but it definitely has some heavy residues on it. So let's see if I can get it the way I like it. All right, looks good now. You guys might be able to see a couple little, maybe little baby chips and stuff on it. That's just something that's gonna stay there. But when uh, also you get done with a, one of these acetate cards, plastic card, I always like to finish it off with one of these finishing ones, finishing microfiber, because it seems like these things are dust magnets, dirt magnets, fuzz magnets. Everything sticks to these cards. That's why they're so hard to kind of keep in shape after a while. Looks good now. All right, so all of you that hit me up with questions about um, acetate cards, I, I've never really had a hard time cleaning them. If you have permanent scratches into them, they're gonna be permanent. But a lot of times you'll also get that sticky stuff on them. Clean it up, works great. Thanks for watching, I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.